jump into this. And then I'm also going to go live on a Facebook page. So give me a moment while I set that up. And what you guys can do right now is if you have an Instagram account, um, you could log into it on your phone. If, you, if you're viewing Zoom on the computer, then log in on your phone uh, to your Instagram account. Does it will... count if all it has on is your favorite five-year-old and that's it? I've never posted. I have an Instagram to look at pictures of AJ. That's it. <laughs> yes, you. Uh, as long as you have a an account, then yet yeah, just open it. Huh? All right. Hello, hello. Hi. Hello. Hi, John. Hi. Welcome. I don't have an account. Welcome. Well, that's okay. If you don't have one, then just hang tight and sit back and learn. <laughs> one, less, one less thing for me to mess up. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to go live on my Fuse business training page today. So if you are a follower of that page, feel free to share the live. And so it's preparing the live stream preview now. Do what? I'm on Instagram, but I don't know what to do with it. And you're just going to hold it open until I tell you to do something. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I, right now I'm doing something on the back end. So you don't have to uh, worry right now. Just give me one moment. Um, how to use Instagram for your business. See, isn't she no, pretty? Oh, That's why I have Instagram. <laughs> All right. What just happened here? I started trying to be fancy and it did not like me being fancy. <laughs> All right, uh, here we go. Post live video, here we go. Go live. Mm -hmm. Who is all excited about learning about Instagram? Anybody? Raise your hand. Oh, I would be, yeah. A couple people? Okay. <laughs> I am. All right. I'm well, I'm happy about learning anything from you, Barbara. Barbara. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we are recording now through Zoom and also through Facebook on my Fuse Business Training page. So okay. let's jump in. My first question is, how many people are already using Instagram by the means that you act, you have an Instagram account? How many people have an Instagram account? Okay, about half. How many people look at things on Instagram? Okay. 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 And how many people post things on Instagram? Okay, all right, cool, cool. Thank you guys for your participation. That just gives me a, a little gauge of where everybody is, helps me to, curve this in that particular manner. All right, the first thing I wanna share with you guys before we start jumping into what Instagram looks like and how to use Instagram, I want to give you some statistics about Instagram to convince you that Instagram is well worth your time as long as your target is there. So again, remembering that you need to know who your target audience is in order to know which platform you should be on and how you should be using that platform. If you don't know who your target audience is, you need to start there first. But if you have already defined your target audience and they fit into a few different areas, then Instagram would be good for you. I will share these statistics and as I share them, you'll start getting aha moments of, okay, yeah, that matches because my target fits into that demographic or that statistic, okay? So first of all, Instagram is actually the second most downloaded free app in the Apple Store. So the second most downloaded, which means it's pretty popular, you guys, right? Um, I didn't actually look to see what the first one was. I thought about it afterwards and people were already on the call, so I couldn't really do that. <laughs> um, so, and then there are 1 million photos uploaded every 24 hours to this platform. Or I'm sorry, not 1 million, 100 million. That's even crazier, isn't it? 100 million photos uploaded every 24 hours to this platform. Get out of it, really? Yeah, really. Wow. So you guys, wow. this time last year, this wasn't even close. Instagram has exploded over the last like 18 months. So when I was yeah. teaching Instagram even two or three years ago, I wasn't able to share those awesome of statistics. 
I mean, the statistics were still nice back then, but they're even greater now. Instagram expects to have 112 million users this year in 2020. So if you are not one of those, then you, are, you may be being left behind. If your competitors are one of those, then you may be at a disadvantage, especially mm -hmm. if your market is spending their time here. All right. Um, the average age of a Instagram user has primarily been 29 and under for like the last, I don't know, Instagram was a thing in 2010 is when it, or 2010 is when it about came out. And so for the past decade, it's been primarily young people, um, less than 29 years old. The statistics for 2019 were just released recently, and they're now saying that 71% of Instagram users are age 35 and under. Okay, so wow. if your demographic is a younger nope. demographic in 20s, 30s, or even high school age, you know, if you work with children of some sort, then this is a good place for you to be on. Now, of course, if you work with like children, high school, middle school, anything like that, you all, of course, need to market to their parents at some capacity as well. But most kids will come tell their parents what, they, what they're interested in. In fact, my, today's my son's birthday, and he came to me and said, hey, mom, can you buy me a new Xbox controller and a new headset for my Xbox? And I'm like, okay, send me a link of what, where it is. Just send me what you want, and I'll buy it. <laughs> I didn't know what he was asking for $120 worth of goods. <laughs> but um he he is very kind and he's like we could get it used if you want but and then he goes but there will be more likely of a chance that it will break and we'll have to buy a new one so you guys that's a perfect example that children sell their parents for you okay <laughs> so if you work with children at whatever age that is feel free to market them on instagram they will tell their parents what they are interested in all right so the next the next thing is, let's see, I have a whole bunch of notes here I wanted to make sure that I cover with you guys. Um, oh, Instagram, tomorrow we'll talk about Twitter, which is the home of the hashtag, but Instagram has taken hashtags to a whole new level. So the easiest way to increase your followers on Instagram is by using hashtags strategically. There will be a, ha a hashtag training in this 30-day program. So we'll talk about hashtags. I don't remember the exact date that it's on, but at some point we will. <clears throat> I'm just pausing for a moment because I see I had inter unstable internet connection, so I wanted to make sure you guys didn't miss anything. All right, the next statistic I want to share with you is that the average Instagram account has about 150 followers. So the oh average God. is 150 followers on Instagram. That's not too bad, right? Who thinks they could get 150 followers? I have 116, <laughs> and, I don't, and I'm never on there. Fantastic. Phyllis, look at that. No work at all. And I have 33 that. people following me, and I've only done one post ever. Okay. So, <laughs> so see how easy it's going to be, you guys? <laughs> Being stopped. But, um, so the Being average... In the game, Phyllis. Time to get in the game. Yeah, <laughs> thank you, Rick. All right, so the average user has about 150 followers. Now, uh, a big question that people always ask when I teach them Instagram is, how many followers do you have to have to be considered an influencer? Now, an influencer is somebody who other brands will pay you to talk about their product. So you guys have probably seen this on even Facebook and stuff where somebody jumps on and they talk about someone else's product. Oh, similar to what I did with Ann Catherine. This was not set up in a way of like an affiliate thing. But when I talked about Ann Catherine, who helped me set up my background to look, you know, more professional and have my personality, that is similar to, um, again, this is not what happened here, but let's say Ann wanted to pay someone to talk about that. And I jumped on and told my people about it so that she could get more business. So then I would be the influencer and she would be the brand that paid me. And in fact, that's a really good idea. I should ask her to pay me. <laughs> I'm just playing. But um, so, so people ask, how many followers do I have to have to be an influencer so people will pay me to talk about their brand on my channel? Well, you guys, it's not too difficult. It is between 1,000 and 5,000 followers. So the average user has 150. 
if you get up to a thousand, you, you are considered an influencer. And the reason they cap it between 1,000 and 5,000, so they have the beginning and end, is because they see anybody who's less than a thousand, um, you know, may just be an average user. Anybody who's more than 5,000 might be too big of a brand to really get um, that they can afford, right? So if it's more than 5,000 followers, it might cost that brand way too much money to be on the influencer's channel, right? So like Tony Robbins is a mega influencer. You'd have to pay him probably millions of dollars to get your face on his channel for 30 seconds, right? So, so they don't typically target people who have too many followers. So they're really looking for people between 1,000 and 5,000 followers. So once you had a thousand, you are considered an influencer. Not very feasible. Yeah, it's very feasible. Now today, 70% um, of Instagram users have less than a thousand followers. All right, let's see what the next thing is. Um, you can't, so when you post to Instagram, and I'm going to jump on and show you how to do that in a moment. When you post to Instagram, you can only post via media. So it has to be an image or a video. You can't put just text and you are not able to put a link in the description like you can with Facebook and Instagram or uh, LinkedIn. But what you can do and what you should do is you should have a primary link in your bio, your profile. And then when you put something as an image and you want people to be able to, or like a video or something like that you want people to be able to click on it to go to the full video because you can't put a full 10 minute video on instagram i i think it's like a might be 30 seconds i don't remember the what the current number is that they have but videos have to be a certain length to be on there or below a certain length and they're very short it's either 30 seconds or three minutes i can't remember somewhere around there but so you couldn't do a full 10 minute video there, but you could post a link to your YouTube channel where that 10 minute video is being held, right? And so that link would be in your profile and then you would put a comment on that post that says link in bio. So that's very, that's very popular with the, what everyone says, I'm gonna write that in here. Cause when, when I first started hearing that like five or six ago, five, five or six years ago, when people started using the term link in bio, I used to think, what the heck does link in bio mean? Cause it was the kids that started using it. So like the young generation started at first and I had to ask my teenagers, what does this mean? And they taught me, in fact, they teach me a lot, which is super cool. Marie thinks it's 30 seconds as well. I was thinking that it is around 30 seconds. Okay, now I told you guys about hashtags, how it is super popular on Instagram. In fact, every post that you put on Instagram should have some kind of hashtag on it because that's how you gain followers on Instagram. That's how people are looking. That's how things become trendy. You need to use hashtags. The most popular hashtag on Instagram of all time is the word love, L-O-V-E. Super simple, right? You could use love for just about anything, business, personal. Um, so you, and then I'll, in a moment, I'll show you how to see um, different trending hashtags so that you could kind of get connected with people who are using other trendy hashtags that you could use. Now, earlier I told you guys that Instagram was the second most downloaded app. It is also the 10th most popular Google query. So out of all the gazillions of websites in the entire world, Instagram is the top 10th one that is most searched. So it means something, right? Now, one bad thing about Instagram is that in 2017 and 2018, Instagram was the number one platform for cyberbullying among teenagers and children. And so now uh, it took them a couple years to figure out how to fix that. Right now, uh, they are now hiding likes and comments in seven countries. They're not here in the United States yet. Some, some profiles have it where it's hidden, but um, the reason why is because kids would really, their value was based on how many likes they would get on Instagram. If they posted something and didn't get likes, they, they thought they were worthless. And kids told them that they were. And it was a really sad thing. It was a, people got bullied a lot on Instagram and, and Snapchat's one that people got bullied a lot on too. 
but Instagram is now doing something about it and they're taking measures to try to stop that and to lower that. And so they're hiding likes from you. So for instance, if I wanted to see how many likes Phyllis's post had, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to see it, but she would. So she could see if she had 13 likes, but I can't. Now in the United States, we can still see these things, but there are seven countries around the world that have already stopped the, where, where they've banned being able to see the likes. I assume United States will be here soon, but it's not. Um, Canada already has it, so I figure it will trickle down to us soon. Um, you guys, listen to how cool this is. The perfect caption on an Instagram uh, post is about 10 words. So you don't have to write a whole paragraph. So you put a picture and you write about 10 words to go with it, a couple hashtags to go with it, super simple. Okay, and um, and 20 emojis is like the, the max that it wants you to do. Anything more than 20 emojis seems ab absurd. To me, I think anything more than like three emojis seems absurd, but apparently the kids are communicating with emojis these days and keeping in mind that the demographic is super young. Um, I usually at, do four or seven. There you this go. The numbers what? I like. So I either yeah, see four or seven at the end of any one of my things, I put a emoji in. Dwight, how old are you? 39. Oh, he's trying to act like he's 29. <laughs> Yeah, I'm still so a kid. Twenty emojis cap per post. Um, it's not a, a set cap. It's just like an unspoken. Don't use more than twenty emojis. You can. Per, per, yeah. Per post. Exactly. More, more than twenty. More than wow. twenty emojis is considered obnoxious. Yeah. So you could technically yeah. do it, but you realistically shouldn't. <laughs> so what is it called? Emoji gram. <laughs> emoji gram it should be right good one dave good one um, the most popular type of content on instagram as of now is how to content how neat is that i love that because i post how to content all over the world right so yeah. it's like i like that they want how to content so rick you posted number one tiktok number two instagram number three youtube is that the order of where people were bullied no, that's that's the uh, app app rankings. Oh, the app rankings. Oh, app thank rankings you. By uh, by downloads. Wow. So TikTok is number one. You guys are gonna learn about TikTok, TikTok. and you're going to hate it. <laughs> um. Yeah, and I'm not gonna talk about it much right now because there's a whole training day on it. But uh, I feel old looking at TikTok. <laughs> All right. Whoa. What's that? It's just too much. It is. It's just it, too many, it's too many so many apps much. out there. Yeah. All right. And then you guys, one third of the viewed stories in Instagram are businesses. They're from businesses. So one third. So like thirty something percent, thirty three percent of viewed stories people are viewing of businesses. Right. So you have like a thirty three percent chance in the marketplace here, which is way higher than you'll find on Facebook and possibly even LinkedIn, but you've got to make sure that it's either your audience, you're speaking to your audience in a way they can hear you. Now, uh, let's see. Oh, 60% of businesses on Instagram stories use an interactive element every month. So I will show you when I jump in how to do the interactive element. Um, and so that's basically like putting a poll up or putting music in the background, just different things like that. Don't get too carried away with that um, as a business. A lot of the young kids will have that in every single thing they post. But again, it's because they're, you know, they're basing a lot of their, who they are on their posts. But as a business, don't get too carried away with having so many elements. All right, so let's do something here. I am... Did my thing go? I'm not on live on Facebook anymore. What happened to that? All right, let's. Nope. See. Debbie said, just did a TikTok training, gave me a headache, <laughs> but that is just me. I like to be informed. Okay, good, good. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to log into the Zoom meeting through my phone now.
and it might give me some feedback. So hold on, I'm going to mute this. All right. Colin. All right. Can you okay, hold on. Can you guys still hear me? Okay. Okay, hold on. Let me get this in. I don't want it to echo. You have to mute you you have to mute the sound coming out of one and the microphone. Yeah, I hold on. Turn your computer volume all the way down or your phone's volume all the way down so okay. you're not picking up the microphone. Can you hear me now? Yes, okay, perfect. I think that worked. So I had to I I I did it backwards the first time. I had my phone muted and my computer volume on, but it seems like it works better this way. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I will share my, I think I sh could share my screen here from my phone. All right, so you guys see my phone. Um, these are my social media apps here. In the top right, actually, um, oh, I can't, I don't think I, can you guys see my mouse moving on the computer right now too or no, because you're only seeing my, no. my screen no. of my phone. We see your phone. Okay, perfect, okay. so. Um, let me turn this up just a bit. All right. So on the top right where it shows Instagram, I'm going to click on the Instagram app and it will open that up. Okay. Now see up in the top left where that F is for Fuse? That is where if I want to post something to my story. So I'm going to click that and it pops up this so I can have my face there now down at the bottom there you see see where the word normal is i'm going down there to that menu okay so if i go to the left it's going to show create i could type in here just like you would in facebook if i go left one more it goes to live this is a live video the live videos can be a little bit longer i don't remember how long i think i was on for about an hour or no, I think it was 30 minutes last time when it was shutting my live video off when I was recording it here with you guys. Um, so you, the live videos can be longer than the post videos. Now, if I go back and go back to the right, create normal and then go to boomerang. Boomerang is those types of videos where, watch if I do this for just a moment and then I let go, watch, see it like repeat what I did. So it just kind of, it's like a, um, a loop. It will keep repeating the same post. Now I'm going to hit the back button because I don't want to post this or send this right now. I'm gonna just give you guys a couple of examples. All right, so now if I want to do a layout, now these are the elements that like businesses do and a lot of the teams do. Right above the circle at the bottom there, there are some layout options. So I could scroll through there and pick a layout that I want. And then I could like, I could choose something like cheese, take the picture, then it will ask for my next thing. And maybe I take you guys next, cheese. Well, that wasn't a good one. Let me, um, I think I could go back one. Yeah, I could go back one. So I will say cheese. Okay, I got you guys. And then let's see, let's try, I'm just doing something fun here with you guys. Cheese, All right? So, so you have now three pictures on one post. Again, not going to post this, just doing this as an example for you guys. But if I did want to post it, I would hit that check mark that is lit up right there. I'm going to go back a couple of times. Oops, let me go back into that. If I move over one more to the right, this is super zoom. So you see up at the top, up above the large circle, there's the heart. If I click on the heart, it should show me hearts. It's, I don't see it. So it was a video, a short video. And I can do that with, let's do the fire one next. So all I'm doing is the big white button at the bottom. I'm just tapping that. I'm lost. <laughs> we lose sound okay. whenever, whenever you're recording. Barbara, where did you go to get into the able to post? Okay. Um, hold on. I think there's two questions. Dwight, what was your question? I was just letting you know that whenever you press the record button on your phone to record one of those videos, we lose sound and you were saying something explaining what you're doing and we couldn't catch it. Okay, got it. And then, so Kim, is that the same question you were asking? 
No, my question I missed, where do you go in to start a post from your okay. main page? Um, up at the top left there where that F is, where it says your story. So that F is my logo. And so your logo will be there. So you just click on that and then it will bring you here. Okay, okay I'm trying to change mine to my logo from my picture. Uh -huh. And it just, the little gear goes around and around forever and it's not do, taking it. Um, um, are you doing that from your phone? Yeah. Okay. That might be coronavirus. <laughs> you may Probably need to too big. restart your device. Um, I may need to what? You may need to restart your phone. Okay. Or close out of other apps if there are other ones open. All right. And then... I, Barbara, I just started this so I don't have an F or I don't have a logo. Is that where the picture is? is yeah, so there's like a, probably a gray person or something it might be it it'd just be that first circle up there and it will say your story underneath okay i don't have any of those that's okay i'll okay i'll, I'll just watch and see if i can figure this out later Thank okay you. Yeah, Sorry. We, no worries we can always jump on um in a little bit too like uh, um you can show the screen and stuff your screen all okay. right so so down at the bottom there do you see now on the left and right of that big white button if I move the button, this is where I get different looks like this that you see that the kids do. And I just keep moving it over and it will give me different looks as I go. See? And so you could, you could take videos with this on like this by holding down the button. So if you want to take a video, you hold the button. I don't know if you guys were able to hear me when I, but I was just saying that you hold down the button to get it to start a recording. If you want to take a picture, you just click the button. So for a picture, you click it. For a video, you have to hold it down. All right. And then, so up here at the top next to my F are my friends' stories that I can watch. So let's watch a few just to see some examples. So Katie Norman, let's see, she made a pie, it looks like, tasty. Um, somebody here is doing an online so a course social uh, play your social media content based or playing your social media content based on your course launches and then we have how freaking beautiful is this right so just different here's uh, some homeschooling stuff right so see how each post has different like text like up at the top things are starting to get dark here's a video uh, somebody's recording um, let me go through this a couple of times to get out of the ads okay let me go past some of the celebrities and go to some local people see if we have any local people here mm. oh beth jacobus so see how she's got this is one of the um uh boomerang then here's just a nice picture and see how her words moved over here her words are moving see so you could do a lot of really really cool things that makes me dizzy <laughs> and see so just different things like that you guys and you're just giving an experience to your users as if they are there with you in these different things that you're posting and you're sharing okay let's see um all right so let's go back out of here now let's say you just want to post a regular picture and you don't want all the fluff on it. Down at the very bottom of the page, you see the five icons. The center one is a like a square with a plus in the center of it. That means add post. So I'm going to click on that. And I just, I just um, downloaded and saved this picture to my phone right before we did the call so that I could use this as an example. So this give value with your blog is one of the homework assignments you guys had, remember? So I'm going to just click next up at the top right. Now I could choose any image I want and move the image to fit how I want it to fit, but I'm going to pick this one so that I could show you an example of how to do this for business. Okay. Up in the top right, I'm going to click next. Oh, let me tell you guys too, if you guys have iPhones, your buttons are probably not in the same spot as mine. Okay, so if you have an iPhone, your button might be on the, on the bottom instead of the top. Um, I'm using an Android, but it's going to be very similar no matter what kind you have. So on this screen, it's, going, it's asking if you want to filter or edit. 
So down at the bottom, it shows the different options for filtering. The first option is normal. If I start clicking through, you'll see how it mostly just changes the color. Of course, I don't want to change the color because I've got this branded to my company colors. So I'm just going to go back and choose normal. And then down at the bottom as well, there's the edit button. If I wanted to adjust it by like tilting it, making it brighter, any of the stuff that you see on here, I can do that. Again, I don't want to do that with this image because this is my brand um, that I created it to match my brand. Let me get that off the screen. So up in the top right, I'm going to click on next again. And then right here, um, where it says write a comment, this is where I'm going to write 10 words or less, okay? Um, so I could say, and it doesn't have to be 10 words or less. It's just that's the one that seems to be um, being the most popular. So let's say 30 days of free marketing ideas, period. And then link in bio. I don't know why I capitalized all that. It doesn't have to be that way. That's just what I just did. Now, because that particular one was on blogging, I could, oops, that was, uh, I could put the hashtag and then the word blogging. And then I could use the hashtag. And I want to show you what happens when I use a hashtag this time. When I start typing the word business, you'll notice underneath it shows that there are all these different um, uses of the word business. And it shows you how many people are using it. So right here's a good one, business tips. Look at how many, I'm gonna put that right up at the top there, business tips, look how many public posts are using it. So I'm going to click on business tips. Blogging and business tips I put in there, but I always also brand or um, hashtag my brand, which is Fuse. So on all of mine, I will use that hashtag. Hey, Barbara? Yes. Um, back when you had the image, like your friend Beth, she used the word like off the road or off the grid. And mm -hmm. she wrote that on the image. How did she do that and why did she do that? Okay, good question. I'll show you that next. All right, so as we continue now going down, if we want to tag someone or add a location, we can. I'm not going to do that with either of these posts. I can also post this to Facebook, Twitter, or Tumblr if I want to. Um, I'm not going to do that with this post either because I've been already posting on these other platforms. Up on the top right, there's the share button. So I'll click share. And you see it's finishing up. If I swipe down on my screen, it will refresh my page. So just swipe down and it refreshes. So there's my post. Um, and then I'll be able to come back later to view any insights to see if anybody likes, comments, shares. And now here's another good thing too. If after you post your very first post or, or a first post in a long time and you get a lot of followers right away, it probably had a lot to do with that post. Okay, so, so keep track of those kind of things. If, if you all of a sudden get like 30 new followers in one day, look back and say which content got me that many followers. And you'll be able to tell based on people liking and commenting on it. All right. So, um, Tim, you asked how, why she would do that and how she would do it. So let me just choose another image here. And... Okay, so let me choose this image just for fun. That one, I, it looks like I accidentally screenshotted my home, my home button because I could see the time and stuff on there. Um, uh, oh, actually, no. For the way that Beth did it with the moving thing, you, need, you have to do an actual photo. So see down at the bottom where it says gallery photo or video? You've got to do a live photo or a live video. Okay, and so if I... Pretty sure. Okay, so let me just record again. I'm holding down that button down at the bottom, the gray button. I'm holding it down right now. Okay, next. Okay, gives me something cool. Oh, hold on, guys. I got kicked out of there. And does it need to be a certain amount of seconds that you hold that down for a video, Barbara? Nope, just however many you want, but um, if it's in the 
plus down at the bottom center of the screen, I believe it can only be like 30 seconds. If it's up at the plus at the top left, which is your story. So the difference is the one at the bottom is going to put it on your pro, like on your profile, like a post. The story does like what Facebook story does, where it's like up at the uh, top of, of the screen, like these ones are, um, where it shows the, the little icons up there. And those, the stories are only available for 24 hours. After 24 hours, that post goes away completely. It doesn't go onto your page. All right, so, so the ones on the top left are the temporary post, the one on the bottom is the forever post, or until you delete it. So let me go back to Tim's question. Up on the top left, if you go to your story, so I'll click on Fuse, and I want to click something in here. Let's just let's just put a picture. Oh, that's, I'm on video. Hold on, I was on video, my bad. Come back to normal, take a quick picture, cheese. Okay, um, so I put that, and then if I scroll up, so let me pull that back down. What I did was I put my thumb on the bo center bottom of my screen, like right about around where my neck is, and then I just pulled my thumb up. Okay, so I scrolled up and then I can pick any of these things here to put on there. So, and, and there's like a whole bunch of them, probably hundreds or thousands of them. And you can search by like, let's say if I want to do, do you remember what Beth said? Was it like off the road or something like that? I think it was off the grid. Off the grid. Let's see. Right here, okay, so she found it right here. And then just put it right there. And so see, it already moves for me. I didn't have to make it move that way. So I can bring it right here. And of course, there are a bunch of them. So, okay, let me scroll up again because you can put more than one on here. So let me erase this one and let me put business just for fun. See what comes up for business. See, so the ones up at the top are the emojis. Then there are the, well, you either call them giffies or jiffies. That's the, like one of the big world debates. Um, let me see, let me find a good one. If someone sees one they wanna see, you just tell me. Let's try this one. That looks fun, it's got money. All right, so, oh, it looked like money. It's just the word online. So just different things like that that you can do. Now, what we also could do, if I scroll back up again, let me erase that, and then go back. Oops. All right, so now here at the top, see how there are um, location, mention, hashtags, music, uh, poll, questions, countdowns, there's all kinds of fun things you can do here. So you can ask um, a poll and you could say, are you stuck at home, right? And then people hit yes or no and then you get a, um, it gives you the number, like it gives you the, the statistic of it and you can post that if you want. So you can move all these things around and you do it by holding both of your fingers to it and move it up or down. To make it bigger, you spread your fingers apart. To make it smaller, you bring your two fingers together. To tilt it, you just tilt your fingers the way that you want it to go. Okay, so let's say that I decide this online business one is too much for me and I wanna get rid of that one. So I can click on it. Well, it's kind of going everywhere right now. Let's see. Because <laughs> you can erase these. Like, I can't even click on it to get rid of it now. Catch it again. It's moving too much. I can't do it. So let me get out of here now. I'm going to discard that photo. But um, down at the bottom right is how you can move the camera from looking at me to looking to what I'm looking at. So it's just that bottom right, like two arrows. Okay. Then up at the top in the center, you see the flash being on, off. You could do that either way. And then on the top left are your settings. This is if you want to make your post private or um, save it in any certain way. Typically, you don't need to click on this for every post. Once you have your settings set, then you, you most of your posts are going to go along with that setting. 
All right, and then let's see what else. Up in the top right corner here are your messages. You see my number one where that little airplane is? That is my private messages. Um, so it looks like David sent a video, so I'll watch that later. Hopefully it's not hacking my computer. Just play it. <laughs> no, that's me, Barbara. I just did it. Do you want me to play it now for everybody? Yeah, yeah play it now. Yeah, play it now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool, good. So Dave just did a good example of he was so he shared that with me rather than on on the on his page. So if you click on that story up in the top right, take a picture and you want to send it to one specific person, down at the bottom there where it says send to, you click that and then you can choose who you want to send it to. Okay? Um, and then up at the top here, you've got different options. You've got um, um, branded content. You can download images. You could put um, text on it. So I could say, hey, done. I could also click back on that, change the color of it. Oops, I didn't click on that one. Hold on. It was giving me a new one. Oh, there I go. So now I could change the color. I could change the size. Right, I could change it to where up at the top center where it says modern. I'm clicking that, it's giving me different font types. See, and then oh, um, I could hit done, and then I can move that. And again, I could resize it with my two fingers. Oh, it's not letting me right now. Oh, apparently, that's the biggest I can get it. <laughs> okay, and then I could move it around, right. So send to, let's send this to Alyssa, my daughter, because she was supposed to come down here already and she's not. That will tell her to get down here. <laughs> All right. So that's how you use the, computer, the, the phone version of Instagram. You cannot post to Instagram from your computer unless you use a third-party scheduling software uh, like Later or Hootsuite. We'll talk about those on one of these days as well, but otherwise Instagram is primarily meant to be used on your mobile device. Now, Barbara, I did it on my uh, tablet actually. The, the video I just did was on my tablet. Yeah, because that is uh, tablets are mobile devices as well, so phones, tablets, um, just you can't do it on like a laptop or a desktop. Okay. Because uh, it has to be the app. You have to download the app, not be on the Instagram.com website. Now, gotcha. also at the very bottom down here, you have, um, on, let's start on the very right. The very right where there's the, like that person, it's like his sh shoulders and a head. If you click on that, that will take you to your profile. Okay, so this is where it shows who I am. It gives, you got about one sentence to do your bio and then you can put your link. So my link takes people to my YouTube channel, right? So when I did the, um, the, vid, the image right here for the blogging, it takes them to my channel. Now, up at the top here, you can see you can edit profile um, and you can do that right here on your phone or you can do it on your computer. Look at you guys, I have 917 followers. I'm so close to being an influencer. If you don't follow me yet, please do. Oh, wow. Right there. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then so as you see, oh, oh, let me answer a question here. So a lot of time, and this is just a question that I, I get a lot, and it popped up in my head. The, um, is Instagram like Facebook and LinkedIn to where you have to have a personal profile and then a business profile? The answer is no. You can do Instagram either as your personal person or your business, or you could have two separate accounts and have them separate, or you could do them both on one. So with Fuse, we, we highly um, go by the motto of faith, family, and career, right? And so we do share faith and family stuff in with our business stuff. Um, not quite as much on some of the other platforms as we do on Instagram, but especially on Instagram, so as you scroll down, these little icons, these are more advanced. I can't show you how to do that in this call, but it's faith, health, or family health, um, Fuse Enterprises, fun, and faith. So these are the five things that we focus on, like sharing content-wise. But as we continue to scroll down, we can look at our pictures either by a grid, which is right at the top here on the left, the grid, or on the right, there's the um, person icon.
it shows the person icon. So the person icon is showing um, who, who has tagged me. So the first one, the grid, uh, well, I guess technically they're both grids. Uh, the grid, the, the first one is the things I've posted. The second one is people have tagged me in these posts. Okay, so remember when I showed you how to make a post and you could tag people? People have tagged me in these posts. Oops. And then um, these are the ones I post. So if you, if you scroll down my post, you see there's a nice mixture of the things I'm doing, right? There's a Toastmasters post there. There's um, a motivational thing. There's a, a child's book, my dog. Some of the videos we were shooting recently, um, we, we stopped putting them on Instagram for a while because we weren't, I didn't have the time to make the Instagram image right. The image that it's showing is our YouTube image. And, I didn't realize it wasn't so great until later. And I was like, oh, I'm going to stop posting them for right now. Um, so I just started putting them on YouTube. But I can always go back and add them here, right? As I continue going, you see my business partner there with me. You see some Bible verses. You see uh, my family. You see me teaching a class right there. Um, my, a copy of my book. So down there in the bottom left, that's one of the, one of the books that I've co-authored. And I was, the middle one there is me signing the copies of the first ones ordered. My Toastmasters certificate, and my husband, right? My children, that's, that's James there on the right. James and Alyssa, my two oldest kids. James is 17 today. Down here, these are pictures of other trainers that were at my event. And I was taking pictures of them as they were training at my event, right? Um, concerts I had gone to. My sister's baby, I babysat my Bitmoji. So there's a mix of a lot of things on here, but it all encompasses my personality and what I love and what I stand for. There's a picture of KJ there. She, um, I was posting that to show, that I, oh, I remember I used her as an example to show people how to post, that, how to repost someone else's post. Um, you can't do it from Instagram itself. You have to have a third party app. I use repost, R-E-P-O-S-T. So as you see, what you post on here if you want to make it only business related if you want to include family stuff if you want it only to be your personal one and not include business it's all up to you guys okay any questions yeah barbara i have a question i'm on my um on the tablet here and i'm here at my profile and i never noticed this because i have to fill this in but it says switch to professional account right so, and then you know, it has all the options and, you know, yeah, how to so, describe it. So. Yeah, that's a great question. Thanks, Dave. So the difference between um, just the regular profile and the professional profile means that you get analytics. So if you just have a personal profile, it doesn't give you the analytics of like your viewers and stuff like that. With the professional one, you're able to see those. Um, so I do recommend you make it a professional account, even if it is just you as a person. Even if like your name is Bar, if I'm using Barbara Carr and everything was all about Barbara Carr, I still would want to have a professional account so that I could see the analytics. Got That's it. Okay. The difference between the two. Okay. All right. Any other questions? Let's see, I'm gonna go out of here. Um, let me go. Oh, the heart now. The heart on the bottom right shows when people have, uh, thank you, Tracy and Tim for following me. Rick um, followed, oh, Rick followed Hometown Happenings. So did Bruce, that market specialist is my friend Bruce. So this is when it shows when people follow you. Now, here's something for you guys to know. Oh, it's, you should at least post some things because um, one of the criteria about the users Helpful first. Oh, thank you. Uh, that was Kyle, right? Um, all right. So one of the things that people notice um, brands when they want to see if they're going to use you as somebody that they'll pay to do your, you know, like to talk about them on your channel is up here at the top on your profile is your ratio from your followers to your following. So you want to have more followers than who you're following. And you want it to be not too close, but it's not too, too far either. Um, you might notice on a lot of celebrity pages, they're following like 20 people, but they've got like 10,000 followers. 
that just seems like to me like you know you're not even supporting the people that are supporting you kind of thing but you want to follow people that you actually would like to follow like and see their stuff so here's the thing when people follow me and this is how a lot of people do it you first click on their page i'm gonna click on tracy's because i'm thinking that she probably has stuff on hers so i'm hoping so Let's see, so I'm posting on Tracy's. Okay, Tracy, you look like you have a uh, private profile. And it actually, it doesn't look like, no, you've got zero posts. Okay, I'm gonna try Valpo first. I, I set it up a long time ago and have never used it. Okay, all right. Um, so here's the thing, a lot of people will do this where if you follow them before they just click that follow, they're gonna see if you actually post because what's the point of following someone who's not posting what's the it's almost like following someone in a car that has no real destination <laughs> you like you don't know what's going and so let's see um let me see somebody else so these people so let me click on it so here's somebody right that they've got posts but then i look at their post and i'm like is this someone i want to follow this looks like a child it's probably one of my friend's kids or one of my kids friends <laughs> um and so i'm like yeah pro probably don't want to follow that but so basically a lot of times you click on um, to see if somebody has posts before you follow them. Look how many people don't have posts. So you guys want to make sure that you at least have a couple posts. You don't have to have a thousand posts, but you should at least have a couple. Here's a good one. Look, here's four posts. Um, so at least try to have a couple posts so that when someone clicks on you, oh, look, here's Dawn's. Dawn's real good. She's got a lot of posts. A lot of you guys know Dawn Magnati. Um, so oh, yeah. she has a lot of posts. So it's like, this would be a fantastic person to follow. She, look, she's got 613 posts. And do you see her followers to following ratio? Um, Dawn has more people that she's following than following her, but that is probably because she has a heart of gold and she just supports everybody. She's so fantastic like that. Um, um, this is the biggest one. What was that? That's just background, Barbara, sorry. Oh. Okay, no problem. I was gonna say, I thought someone said something. All right, so let me go back down to the bottom here. I showed you guys um, the your pro at the bottom right, your notification the hard. We already learned about adding a new post. The magnifying glass is the search. So if you click search, um, let's see, who do I search for? Let's say I wanna search for uh, Rick Goss. Actually, I'm gonna do Phyllis. Let me do Phyllis. Phyllis, right there. Phyllis Design. That way I get Phyllis. Uh, you guys, here's the other awesome thing about being on the live call is I use you as an example, which gives you free publicity, right? Posting this everywhere, people are going to see, look, you have a profile. And, and even though there's only one post, you guys can be excited because Phyllis is going to have more posts by the time that you go to follow her. Right, Phyllis? Yeah, those were the ducks at my cabin. And so, um, so Phyllis has a right up here. I take spaces from blah to ah. That's her tagline. She's got her website there. Um, she's got 116 followers already, and she doesn't really do much on here. So that's pretty exciting, right? Phyllis, I can't follow you yet until you get some more posts up. That's I don't know where they're following me to because I don't know where I'm going. And, uh, right? And so, but here's where you can search. How do I post a picture? Um, the same way that I just showed you how the bottom, um, the bottom center where that plus is. Okay. We're all going crazy if we don't change our ways. But I don't want. <laughs> to. That's right, Dwight. But I don't want to just post my picture. I want to post a picture, and it's not doing them. I tried. It just goes so. Slow. You mean a picture that's on your phone? Yeah. Okay, um, down at the bottom there, you see ga gallery, photo, and video. You want to go to gallery if it's on your phone. Okay, wait. Plus. Okay. Yeah, I found the picture that I wanted to post. Mm -hmm. um, it's You'll just not working. You'll have to hit next a few times. I can't find the picture right now. Okay, and then, um, so we can do, we can search for certain things, like up here at the top, see how I'm scrolling? I could do um, uh, sports. Let's see if there's some sports stuff for Rick here. Okay, as you can see, Instagram is very different than what you probably see in other social media platforms. This is what comes up when you search sports, guys. <laughs> okay, I just clicked down three pictures. Okay. And, and now, the that little wheel is going around in circles forever 
Okay. Well, then that is something with your own device, probably. So you have an internet connection. Yeah. I have a good internet, but you know what? I have a success, and it keeps telling me I'm out of room. I'm out of storage. So I need a new phone. I know yeah. that. Yeah, it probably has something to do with that. Okay, um, Kim said, is there a way to change the name once you have created an Instagram account? Yes. I don't think you can do it on the phone, though. Let me just test it. And yeah, see. you can do it on the phone. Oh, yeah, you can now. You didn't used to be able to. Um, yep. So, yeah, so I just went to my profile that down in the bottom right, the head and shoulders, and then I clicked edit profile, which is about in the center of the screen right now. Okay, and, and I'm my, on my computer. Okay, so on your computer, it's going to be uh, very similar. I'll show my computer when I'm done with this for anyone who wants to see how to do it on your computer. Okay. Should I have a public profile instead of a private? I do recommend having a public profile, especially if you're doing it for business, um, because you want to promote your business, right? So that would be like having a secret business, <laughs> profile, which would be really hard to get new customers if it were secret. So uh, typically, I would recommend, yes, it should be public. But if there's for some reason why your company is not allowed to do public stuff or something like that, then... I guess make it private, but I can't even think of an example <laughs> of, to give for that. Um, so that's a great question. Thank you very much for asking. Um, so you just posted on yours. Okay. So, so here is where you can change pretty much anything about um, your, your profile. Uh, let's see. So up in the top right, that where the number one is, I'm going to click on that, and this is where if you have a business page, you can see your insights, your activity. Um, I want to bring you down here, though, to where it says discover people. When I click on that, this, is show, this will show you people that you may want to follow based on people that you already follow or people that follow you, or maybe you follow some of the same people as the people that it's suggesting you to, or you're using some of the same hashtags as them. So there's a lot of reasons why, or you might be connected with them on another social media platform like Facebook. So it will show you a lot of people right here that you could be following and you could connect with them. Now, you guys, many times when you follow someone, a lot of times they'll follow you back. Now, of course, if you're like me and you're almost an influencer, you want to follow people who are posting things. <laughs> so please post so that I can follow and support you guys because I want to. Um, I'm happy to follow and support you guys, but I really want to be able to see stuff. So how do you see people's posts? You're on your home screen, which is all the way on the bottom left, that little house. And it shows you your friend's post and you literally just are scrolling through. Look, there's Marie's husband, John. She posted, whoop, whoop. That's a really cool shirt. Tell him I love that shirt. Now, how do I like this post if I want to like it? I, I can either try click. To, but I'm not on Instagram. <laughs> oh, so yeah, I won't let you. Bro. Yeah. So you click on the heart that's underneath the picture or you can double click with your thumb on top of the picture. Okay, now you could comment, obviously, which is that, um, the little comment bubble with next to the heart, and the little airplane is if you want to share it with someone, and then all the way, now you, when you share it, it can only be shared privately right now or to a story. You can't put it on your own page through here. You could use the app of repost if you want to put it on your own page. And then all the way to the right, um, that flag is a bookmark. If you want to save this post to be able to find it again later, easily. Um, so this is, you just scroll through. This is how you see your friend's stuff. Okay. And then every time you come on here, it's going to be updated because it, it, um, it's not real time. It's, it's, a, it's a combination of a little bit of real time, but also a little bit of engagement. So the the posts you see are going to be both what's newest and what's being most popular. So, there you go. All kinds of posts. All right, so let's go ahead and go. Um, oh, I am home. If I click home, it brings me back to the top. To refresh it, even if you're not up at the top, you just swipe down and it will refresh your screen if there's anything new, like right there. Angela, a lot of you guys know Angela. All right, so any last questions before I end this and then go on the computer for anybody who might have um, questions?
questions for how to do it on the computer. Can Yeah, we can get into Instagram from our computer. You can get into your profile from your computer, but you yep. can't post through your computer. And Barbara, I did oh. find that. If you don't have oh. anyone else. Um, okay, got it. I did get that figured out. Thank you, though. Perfect. When I tried to change privacy, it says I have. Yeah, Tracy, I do think you did have a public account, actually. It just, I assumed it was private when I first looked at it because it wasn't showing me any posts. And I just assumed you had posts. So that was my bad. <laughs> I know that you are a rock star and that's okay. You are still a rock star. But <laughs> that's why I used you as an example because I was like, for sure, Tracy will have some. But that's okay. By this time next week, you will have some. <laughs> well, only one social media system at a time for me. Like, I yeah. got master one first before I try to get to others. Good. I like that, Tracy. I don't want anybody jumping around being too overwhelmed. All right, so let me stop sharing my screen, which this, you guys, this was the first time I shared my screen in a Zoom meeting on my phone before. So that was pretty cool. You guys got to be so you can do Well, you'll learn something new every day, Dwight. <laughs> yeah, I took note of that and thought there have been times I was sharing and, and we how to do it. So I was like, good, now I know how to do it. Thank you. Barbara, you're muted. My bad. That explains why Dwight was like, I was like, what is he doing? I, I hung up my phone so you guys couldn't hear me then. Okay, so I was saying we're at three o'clock. Does anybody have any other questions? I do a lot of hand signals because I keep myself on mute. Oh, that makes sense. Thank you guys for uh, letting me know those things. Uh, does anybody feel like they might start using Instagram now? Raise your hand if you think you might. Okay, all right. How many when I get a bigger like, phone. How many of you are like, I like this, but not quite yet? Okay, all right, all right. I knew there were a couple. Okay. I want to do LinkedIn. That's where my ideal customer is. So that's where yeah. I need to get into. Good. And Tracy, actually, when you do get into Instagram, Instagram is really good for brands that have visual appeal, which you do, right? Like with jewelry and style and stuff, that is some awesome visual appeal so when you do jump into instagram you will have a a, a major advantage because you're a visual brand mm -hmm. okay great so, um same thing with you phyllis phyllis i know that you love pinterest and and i know you should you should be on pinterest but after you get yes. the hang of posting on pinterest i want you to move to instagram and do the same thing on instagram because you are a visual brand well i just tried to post some pictures pictures of my work and logo it's just not letting me do it and I think it's because my phone is full yeah it probably is and I you know I need a bigger phone so we need to you know they have apps that will help, uh, free up space in your phone by going through all of your systems for you and getting rid of your cookies did, uh, well I did that but I have a couple of apps that I use for work that are measuring programs and so forth, that they just take up a lot of space and I don't want to give them up. Phyllis, there could be an option for you if you have an old phone laying around the house that you don't actually use to call. Maybe that's the phone that you put those big apps on. It's not activated. I'm not going to pay for another no, line. That's what I'm saying you don't have most of those most apps that you use. You do not have to have an activated line. For. Oh yes, I have to carry it with me to customers and measure and email it to them i do right so so what i'm saying though is if it, i don't know how the whole app works but usually you yeah you have the phone like my daughter Haley, had a phone that she used for two years that didn't have a phone number and she used but all you have phone. to have internet you have to be online for it to work right so your other phone you could use as your mobile hotspot to yeah. be able to give internet to that phone that way you'll free up phone on the phone that you actually are trying to do things like this on, but put those big apps on a separate device. I'm just going to pay my property taxes and then <laughs> my phone 11. That'll be the next on the bucket list. All right. Good Dwight. idea, Phyllis. What? Good idea. Priorities. I was yeah. going to say, I'm not sure if the 6 would even let you use a hotspot. It's a 6X. No, it, it does, but it's not real good. Yeah. This oh. is a 6XS. The one I think I still have in the drawer was a 5. It's just not going to work. Okay. Dwight, did you have a question? No, I was just going to suggest that when she does upgrade, 
like you said, if, if I utilize this phone as a hotspot, this is my old phone, and I use both of these now to keep things divided, you know, so that way the, the, like, I plan to use both of them for work in the future, but mm -hmm. if I'm going to use them, I have to have Wi-Fi in order for this one to do anything. Right. So that, that's kind of what I was going with. But if you're going to go to the iPhone 11, I would still suggest keeping your, the current phone you have, uh, hard resetting it to get rid of all your extra information that you don't need anymore and reinstall those necessary apps for on the job so you don't have that potential problem in the future. I've extended the life of my phones by six months to a year by doing that every time I upgrade, I keep my old phone so it doesn't get cluttered with all the junk from Facebook and uh, it's searching the internet and YouTube and all the cookies and all the all that stuff just clutters your phone. So I've extended the life of my phone by keeping an old phone and I've been doing that for the last four phones I've had. Yeah. All right. Well, um, Phyllis, if you want to talk to people more about that, feel free to reach out to people. It seems like a lot of people have options when you're ready okay. to do that. Um, Dwight had some options. Tracy had some options. So let's Great. go ahead and finish in this call. And um, tomorrow we are talking about Twitter. And um, if you have a Twitter page, you might want to look at your page uh, before you jump on because I might use you as an example. <laughs> when do we um, do Pinterest? What's that? When are we doing Pinterest? I don't remember exactly when, but it's probably the next day after Twitter. Um, okay. I, I think I posted a lot of them in the units already. I think you could see the next couple. I don't remember how many I posted in there. I'll post more today. But, okay. Um, okay. And then um, if you guys have any other questions, let me know. Your homework should already be posted, but I believe that it is to um, either create or enhance your Instagram profile and then share it with the group so that we can follow you. Okay. Okay. All right, you guys, you guys are super awesome. I will talk to you soon. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.